Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about taking control of your debt. Um, I'm going to bring up the debt snowball rules that we talked about the other day. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the future. So we're going to talk about the debt snowball rules again, review those. I'm going to tell you how to find all your debts and list them out, smallest to largest, nice and simple. Then we're going to jump into Excel and I'm going to show you how to make a bar graph of the debts you owe. Hopefully that gives you some motivation when repaying them. Skies. Okay, so here's the rules for the debt snowball again. The first rule is list all your debts from smallest to largest. The best way to find all your debts, I would say, is to sign up for an account with Credit Karma. Um, it's a free service. They have a mobile app. Once you open the account, they, they'll pretty much list out all your debts. All your credit card debts, your student loans, any medical bills which you may owe. Um, obviously, they won't have your personal debts if you owe someone money personally. It was just a hand-to-hand -hand transfer. They won't have any record of that. Something else to note about Credit Karma is that they only pull TransUnion and Equifax reports, so their scores might not be exactly the same score as a credit card company may see when you're applying. That's because the third report is the FICO score. Um, it's pretty much all the same number. The algorithms that they use to calculate the numbers are slightly different. If you aren't sure of all the student loans you have, or you don't know if you have three or four credit cards, hopefully you do, but Credit Karma will list that all out for you. The next thing we're talking about today is how to create a system to track your progress. So we are going to use Excel for this. We're going to do it on a bar graph. And then tomorrow's video, we will be talking about the third rule, creating the budget to track income and expenses. And then once you have that, you're really well on your way to repaying your debts. After you have the budget, it's just about sticking to it and sticking to your guns. Here's the debt snowball overview I created. We have the type of debt, credit cards, car payments. Um, mortgage isn't listed here, as we said, but any personal debts. Student loan is a big one for a lot of people. The date which the account is open, these are all made up, so it's all on the same date the name of the debt. Try to put in information here which will differentiate. Like if you have two Hondas, for example, for this second box you're going to want to put Honda Accord and Sally May. We'll call this fall semester. This column is the total debt owed and then the outstanding balance. I know it looks weird that these two columns are exactly the same, but it's gonna help us once we make the bar graph. So go get your debts from, all your debt from Credit Karma, write out all your personal debts, list them on an Excel sheet. I like to group, group them together by, we got the credit cards here, the student loans, it just helps it, keep, helps it stay more organized. Once you have everything listed out, you can go ahead and Copy the last three columns. Those are the only columns which are going to be important for the bar graph. So go ahead and select everything and hit Command C or Control C. Go over a couple rows, Command V. Likewise, Control V. If you double click the right side of the column up here, it'll make it fit. Right here, boom. All right, the reason this shows zero is because the outstanding balance column is just copied from the debt owed. You can see up here, equals K15. The value in here is equal to the adjacent cell. Same with this 12,000 equals K12. This is K12. So if we throw $100 in here, that changes to $100. We'll delete this. If you want that back, just throw in equals, select the cell, enter, 
change this again to 200, we'll add a payday loan. We'll call it Friday Payday. Okay. Now we got all our debts listed here. This is going to be for the bar graph, so we want to sort them smallest to greatest. So you're going to want to highlight all three columns. Go up here to data, sort. You're going to want to sort by column, dot owed, values, smallest to largest. OK. Don't worry about all this. We'll just delete this. You can come right up here and click no border. We'll clean it up. And then we'll throw a right border on here for continuity. some bottom borders on here too so everything looks nice and the same there we go now everything is listed all these rows are equal to the adjacent rows we're ready for the bar graph highlight everything once again insert you're gonna come to these bars right over here hit the down arrow and you want the 2D column, the clustered column it's called. That should pop up. If your graph doesn't look exactly like mine, either you didn't have all the information selected, or these columns up here were in a different order. You're going to want to make sure that these that the name of the, that the names are on the far left of both the debt owed and the outstanding balance columns. Okay, now we're just going to do a little editing of the chart, make it look all nice. We're going to give it a name, call it debt snowball. Give yourself some words of encouragement if you'd like. Good job. Make these select one blue bar, it should select them all. Go up here to the paint can. We're going to fill this red. As far as the orange bars, we want to double click those. Go over to the paint bucket. Border. Solid line. I like, I like to have it black. Fill. No fill. Now you have adjacent bars that you can color in with a highlighter as you pay them off, give you some motivation. Now you have your debt snowball graph. Everything's listed. Should be from smallest to largest because we did the sort. Um, the reason we do smallest to largest is because once you pay off that smallest loan first, now you have a larger payment going to the next category. So, for example, per hour chart, if you're paying $50 a month on your Friday payday, and twenty dollars a month on your discover card once you pay off your friday payday loan you're now paying seventy dollars a month into your discover card once that's paid off you're paying what you were paying your friend five dollars a month before you're now paying him seventy five dollars by the time you get up to this citizen student loan that costs fifteen thousand dollars to pay off there's going to be a significant portion of your cash flow going into this once you're on the budget for a while, it's going to get a lot easier for you, and as you're paying off your debts, you're going to get more excited about paying them off. That's one of the reasons that this bar graph works so well, in my opinion, is that you're physically, you're visually tracking your success and your way towards your goal, and it makes you want to work even harder. Let's just look at these rules one more time. You're going to list all your debts from smallest to largest, excluding your mortgage. Like I said earlier, you can get those from Credit Karma. That's where you should go first. There might be a couple loans that they don't have, but just go into your files. Just think about it. List those all out smallest to largest. Don't worry about your mortgage right now. And then go step by step with me in this video and create the bar graphs. It'll, it's a good system that's going to motivate you to pay off your debts. The budget we'll talk about tomorrow. I have a monthly budget that I'm going to show you guys. That's on Excel too. If you guys want a copy of the Debt Snowball Overview um, Excel sheet, what I'll do is I will delete everything out of this example and then 
can either find me on Facebook as Patrick Zimmerman and send me a friend request over there. I will get this out to you that way. Or if that's not an option, you can email me at pzim585 at yahoo.com. Um, that should be up on the screen somewhere. Thanks a lot for coming back to another video, guys. Leave me any comments, suggestions you have. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Tomorrow we are going to be talking about budgeting, income versus expenses, and I will have another Excel sheet for you. Once you got the budget down, then you were well on your way to capturing financial fitness. I wish you the best of luck in that, and I will see you all tomorrow. It's black and white.